Question 2. Barium hydroxide is a strong base used in inorganic and organic reaction. And the figure 2.1, it shows the reactions that involve this barium hydroxide. It started with barium oxide. Okay, it reacts with water from the barium hydroxide. And after that, this barium hydroxide will form barium carbonate with water. So we know that this one is from aqueous to form the solid. So this is a precipitation. For the reaction 3, the barium hydroxide reacts with the ethanoic acid. And after that, it's formed this A and H2O. From here, we know that this barium hydroxide, which is the alkaline solution, reacts with this acid. So this is a neutralization reaction. And the reactions equation is this one. Barium hydroxide with the ethanoic acid form this barium ethanoid and H2O. First, you need to know barium ion is 2 positive and this ethanoid ion is negative. So the formula is this. CH3COO brackets 2 barium. So this is the A. That form. Now let's move on to this uh, part A1. State the, the variation in solubilities of group 2 hydroxide. This one um, in AS you need to uh, understand and memorize the trend. In order to explain these uh, solubilities of this group 2 hydroxide, you need to use uh, latest energy which is not in the AS syllabus. So therefore, in this AS, you just need to memorize the trend. So down the group, solubility increases. That's what you need to do. Of course, uh, for the magnesium hydroxide, we know that uh, because it's partially soluble, so the concentration of hydroxide is lesser. And barium hydroxide is as higher sol solubility among this. So it will form the aqueous solution, means it's uh, almost fully dissolves and form aqueous solution. Right? And concentration of hydroxide is highest among this. So therefore, for part 1, the variation in solubilities of group 2 hydroxide is increases down the group. Okay, this one you have to memorize. Part 2. State what is observed in reaction 1. Reaction 1 is this one. Barium oxide, which is a solid, now reacts with H2O, form a solution. So we know that this one, uh, we just can see, because it says observed. So what we can see is, from solids now is form solution. Therefore, it just solid dissolves. So you can say solid dissolves or the white solid disappears. Part 3. Suggest a reactant for reaction 2. Reaction 2 is the uh, precipitation, as I told you just now, from aqueous solution to the uh, barium carbonate, which is a precipitate. So the observation, we will see the white precipitate is formed. And now it's asking what is the reactant for this. The answer is CO2. Uh, some of you might ask, um, uh, how about uh, the this uh, carbonic acid? So carbonic acid, when it reacts with barium hydroxide, also can form barium carbonate. The carbonic acid is not really the, the better answer, because from the equations, uh, you know that when barium hydroxide reacts with carbonic acid, so it, yes, it will form barium carbonate. And 
uh, it will form uh, two moles of H2O. If just CO2 gas reacts with the barium hydroxide, so means we introduce the CO2 into the solution, it will form this uh, barium carbonate and H2O. And this H2O is just one mole, which is fit the figure 2.1 because it's from one mole of the H2O. So therefore, it's, uh, of course, it's better to put the uh, CO2 as a reactant. All right. Part 4, identify A. Now, A, I already told you how to form. It's from the neutralization. So it's from this barium uh, ethanol. So you can give the formula or you can give the name. Okay. CH3COO bracket 2 okay. BA or you put barium ethanol. For part 5, barium hydroxide is made by reaction of barium and with water. Write the equations for this. Uh, what we can see is, uh, of course, uh, the solid dissolves and, of course, is from gas. Gas produced. Because barium is a group 2 element, so it will form the alkaline solution. Okay, once it dissolves, it's from barium hydroxide. At the same time, it's released gas. So this is the equation. Uh, it's same for all the these uh, group two elements with water, uh, but barium is the among the uh, highest rate uh, or fastest uh, reaction compared to others compared to the magnesium, calcium, and strontium. So this is quite rigorous compared to others. Okay, part B, um, the mineral berry to calcite. So this one, uh, inside this uh, mineral, it has a uh, barium carbonate and the calcium carbonate. Both compound decompose on heating. Part one, which compound decompose first? Decompose first when this barito calcite is heated. Then, again, you need to know the thermal stability trend. When down the group, group two carbonate down the group, it's harder for the group 2 carbonate to decompose. So we say that it has a higher thermal stability when it's down the group. Or thermal stability increases means it's thermally stable. And this trend, you need to, again, you have to uh, memorize in the S. Uh, for the explanation, uh, you need to give uh, in A2 means the explanation for this uh, trend the thermal stability of group 2 carbonate you need to explain in A2 but in AS you just need to uh, know and uh, memorize the trend uh, it's because of the, the size of the this uh, cation right so it's a charge density of this uh, magnesium ion okay, so it's a uh, it's, uh, uh, greater so it can polarize these uh, carbonates more and it's weakened the CO bond and it can decompose e easier. Uh, also all this explanation you have to give in A2 not in S so you need to know the trend on it. Okay, after it decomposes of course all these uh, group of carbonate will form the oxide and CO2. Okay, again just remember when down the group it's thermally more stable means it's harder to decompose means more uh, energy or higher temperatures needed to break it or to decompose it. Now for B1, uh, which one decompose first? Uh, so of course we know that uh, the barium carbonate is lowest in the group uh, means in this uh, magnesium to barium carbonate. So it's lowest among this and calcium is higher than the barium carbonate so calcium is easier to decompose. So it has a lower thermal stability than the barium carbonate. So calcium carbonate will decompose first okay, as the thermal stability 
of the group 2 carbonate increases down the group. You just explain like this. Okay, part 2. Construct an equation for the complete thermal decomposition of this barytal calcite. We know that in this uh, carbonate uh, or in this compound, it has two carbonate, uh, barium carbonate and calcium carbonate. And both carbonate will form oxides and the same gas, CO2. So it's very easy to uh, form this equation. Uh, so it's from the two oxides, barium oxide and calcium oxide, and of course, two moles of CO2. Part C. Barium hydroxide okay, is used to hydrolyze organic compound. Hydrolysis. And figure 2.2 shows the reactions of B with barium hydroxide. Okay, B eh, with barium hydroxide followed by acidification. Acidification means uh, after the reaction, it will kind of like uh, uh, in acidic condition, so it will change. Mm, now, draw the structure of the organic products of the process shown in figure 2.2. Okay, figure 2.2 is this one. Uh, it started with B. Eh? B is undergo hydrolysis now. Uh, it's better for for me to use the this this one to explain it. Um, okay so this one the nitrile groups when it's undergo hydrolysis the c and triple bonds break and this nitrogen uh, it will form ammonia uh, you no need to really know in this question uh, this carbon it will form cooh later cooh the carboxylic acid after hydrolysis and this ester bond okay, break and this O will get 1H this carbonyl group will get OH to form COOH means after the reaction you get two carboxylic acid here this one and this one so these are the two compounds that form means organic compound the methanol and this uh, dicarboxylic acid compound actually um, before it's formed this uh, dicarboxylic acid compound uh, it formed these uh, um, ions first or this compound first after hydrolysis because it's still in the alkaline condition the carboxylic acid that form will react with the alkalines because in the barium hydroxide solution so it will form this salt first, this salt. And after it's being acidified, the barium ion will exchange with the proton. So this, this compound will form or this carboxylic acid will form because the barium here can exchange with the proton and now it can form the, the, this dicarboxylic acid compound. Okay, this is just extra info what is actually happening the organic product again is the methanol and this compound okay that's all thank you